thought I'd have a look in this compressor while we're waiting for the um, system to back down. I took the head off yesterday. Um, all the valves um, were in intact, but they were pretty worn. And the um, it was pretty much top of the tent, so I couldn't get it to turn. Oil looks a bit murky. score marks on there but it's just a plain aluminium bearing by the look of it and that's your oil feed there anything that gets splashed up there can drain in that's why you've got an arrow there showing that as a top hmm maybe it has seized up Pretty solid. Yeah, it's not quite top dead center. You see with the right amount of oil in there, um, the rods just dip into it. Uh, it just helps splash everything about, but it's got a, it's got an oil flinger at the other end, and it flings oil up and then to it, then it comes down the center of the crank. Hmm. It should look pretty dirty, really. Right, we're at the motor end now. That's your um, oil splasher there. And it throws oil up into that little reservoir, comes down that tube to the down there into the hollow crank. Um, oh well, that's. Uh, That's what's gone wrong with that. Trying to soak up some of that oil, I've been making a mess in the van. Um, yeah. That's sheared off. Um, that's sheared off and that looks like it's caught on the windings. This took the, um, it's a counterweight. It looks like the counterweight has sheared off the, um, see where it's bright? Unless it's been rubbing on there. Maybe it's been rubbing. I think that's actually what has happened. The counterweight is probably on this. And I think where it's snapped and bent in, it's been rubbing on this, on the aluminium of the rotor. Um, See, the, it's caught on the windings there, I think. Yep, so it's apart from that, it would have probably, um, and that's been spinning around by the little clip, whatever. That should probably be that way around at the bottom for the oil to get in. Yes, yeah, so apart from that, it um, turns over nicely. I asked them if it was noisy, and they said no. I suppose that might have just suddenly gone. Uh, 
yeah, you can see where it's been catching on these on the strings, and it looks looks like there it might have nicked the windings, which is probably why we had good resistance. Um, that colouring is probably more um, dirt than overheating. Oh well. Maybe it sat there and maybe that seized it up. Um, might well have been cycling. Oh, it's got a thermistor, so maybe it's cycled on the thermistor a few times. That might have burnt the. Um, it was with the faulty contactor as well. I could see this being stuck, damaging the contactor, but the contactor being bad, I can't see. Making this shear off. Don't know. Got that uh, strapped down again now. It's quite heavy, so I uh, don't want 90 kilos um, rolling around in the fan. Especially if you had an accident or something, you hit somebody at, you know, 30 mile an hour and that, that comes flying into the bulkhead at 30 mile an hour, you'd know it. So I we'll always put a strap or something around them. Um, main reason you'd want to find out why it failed is if you've spent good money on a, um, a new compressor and there's a problem with the system, maybe it's flooding back or um, or even if it's if it's the opposite, if it's if it's undercharged or um, expansion rail's not feeding well, and you've got stupid high superheat. If you're high suction superheat, you'll end up having high discharge superheat, and that can end up carbonising the oil and cooking everything in there. Um, so it's it's good to know what killed the old compressor. And um, this looks like it could be just wear and tear and old age. It's about 20 years old, I think. Um, date P, P reg, I think is 96, so it's getting that way, so it's probably done a lot of hours, so this is probably just old age, um, but if we found with no oil in there, say, and a broken rod, then we might be looking at um, liquid coming back and washing the oil out, or um, undercharged even, um, poor oil will return, because there's not enough suction um, velocities bring the oil back and um, things like that um, otherwise you could end up having the new compressor fail and all, all they'll do is they'll take it back strip it down and say no it's failed because of um, something's wrong with the system and you won't have a you know you'll end up having to pay for it there's no warrant it's not a um, warranty is only on um, faulty manufacture not on um, it's not like an insurance policy or anything.